Hi, it's Carrie. Lots of wildcats today. And yes, we're going to have some trouble at the end. The cheetah. It is the fastest land animal and has a recorded speed of 109 to 120 kilometers per hour, which is 68 to 75 miles per hour. Cheetahs are easily identified by their sleek body and unique black spots on gold or yellow coats. Can you tell me how many white tigers in today's video? The cheetah. Their main diet includes smaller animals such as hares, warthogs, young wildebeest, gazelles and birds. They are able to outrun their prey on the open grasslands. The cheetah is well built for speed with its finely tuned, powerful, sleek body. It's easy to identify a cheetah by those black tear lines that run from the corners of the eyes to the sides of the mouth. The cheetah's spotted fur helps camouflage it in the grass so that it can ambush prey. I love the eyes on this one. This cheetah is definitely running after prey. They like to hunt at dawn and dusk by stalking, catching and killing their prey by knocking it over and then suffocating their prey with pressure on the throat. This is one of my old cheetahs. I still like it. Tiger, such an amazing animal. Tigers are the biggest species of the big cat family and this tigeress has a baby in her mouth. Their unique orange, black and white striped patterns help them blend into the forest and grassy areas where they live and hunt. No two tigers have the same pattern of stripes. Bengal Tigress. Bengal Tigers mainly live in India and are sometimes called Indian Tigers. They are the most common tiger and number about half of all wild tigers. Over many centuries they have become an important part of Indian traditions and legends. They are solitary hunters and mainly feed on ungulates. They mark up their territory by scent marking, much like a dog does. White Tiger. A white tiger's pale coloration is due to the lack of the red and yellow pigments that normally produce the orange colour and they are smaller in size to other tigers. white tiger. I love that snarl and the bright blue eyes. 
White tigers used to live in dense jungle, mangroves and swamps, although there are many more held in captivity. The tiger! What a wonderful snarl there! Most tigers live in Southeast Asia, China, Korea and Russia. Tigers like to live in swamps, grasslands and also rainforests. A tiger's habitat would include trees, bushes and clumps of tall grass. Lions are the second largest big cat species in the world after tigers. They are very social animals and live in groups called prides. The size of the pride is determined by the availability of food and water. There are usually one or more males and often numerous females and cubs. Another male lion. The more members in the pride, the more successful the lions are at controlling their territory. Larger prides with more adult females not only produce more cubs, but the females within these prides are less likely to be wounded or killed by other lions. family. Lions form prides to defend territory against other lions, not to improve their hunting success, much like street gangs. The lioness. They are smaller and more agile than the males. Most of their prey is still generally faster than them. They use teamwork to bring an animal down. The white lion. Surviving in the wild would be very difficult as they are not easily camouflaged when hunting prey and they are also affected by sunburn. Lioness, I really like the snarl on this one. The weaker or younger females help herd the prey into a semicircle formation and then the stronger females knock the animal down and make the kill. white lioness and her cub. The white lion fur is caused by a genetic peculiarity due to a recessive gene that affects the animal's fur or a bird's feathers only. Instead of being coloured, the fur or feathers only are white. Its technical name is leukism.
The lioness and her cubs. A lioness gives birth to two to three cubs at a time and often cubs born at the same time are brought up together. When it's time to give birth, a lioness leaves her pride and has her lion cubs in dense cover. The cubs remain hidden for one to two months before being introduced to the rest of the pride. mountain lion or puma. They produce a variety of vocalizations but cannot roar. The mountain lion is also known as the cougar, puma and panther. It is a powerfully built and extremely agile animal. These cats have a long slender body with long back legs which are used for high speed running and pouncing on prey. mountain lion. The cat has a long neck, a small broad head, short rounded ears that are black on the back and a long cylindrical tail with a black tip. The coat is one colour and the underside pale whitish colour and the sides of the muzzle are blackish. A widespread species, the mountain lion can be found in many diverse habitats including deserts, rainforests and mountains. They have a longer coat in cooler regions. The King Cheetah is a favourite of mine. This unusual looking cheetah is also known as Cooper's Cheetah. It is an African cheetah with a rare fur pattern mutation. A recessive gene must be inherited from both parents in order for this blotchy pattern to appear. I think its coat is really beautiful. Lioness. They need a lot to eat, so they hunt large animals like zebras and wildebeest. They are not above stealing kills from other carnivores like hyenas, wild dogs, cheetahs and leopards, or even scavenging spoiled meat. Lions have a fast working digestive system which allows them to gorge themselves and then go for seconds shortly after. Black Panther. Black Panthers are great swimmers and climb trees with ease, often pouncing on prey from a tree and taking it down with a single bite to the neck. Its dark coat helps to hide it so it can stalk and attack prey at night. This black panther is ready for action. You can see it stalking its prey and look at those green eyes. If you look closely, you can still see the spots or rosettes on its coat.
the black panther. They have excellent eyesight to help them see at night. Lions can spend 16 to 20 hours a day sleeping. Lions are the laziest of the big cats. If they're not sleeping, they're resting. They can be found lying on their backs with their feet up or sleeping up in a tree. While lazing around, they are very affectionate towards one another, rubbing heads, grooming and purring. The tiger. Tigers are solo hunters at night time. They quietly stalk their prey until they are close enough to pounce. Then they kill their victim with a bite to the neck or back of the head. The tiger mother. The mother is primarily concerned with teaching her young how to hunt and protect themselves. I'll find the tiger cubs in a minute. They learn to hunt with their mother and siblings between 8 and 10 months of age. The standing tiger. Have a look at this face. Ears are pinned back and the biggest snarl out. That would definitely make me run. Tigers enjoy the water and are great swimmers. They're also quite good at running and have reached speeds up to 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour. They're very good at jumping as well. Siberian tiger. They live in eastern Russia's birch forests, parts of northeastern China and in North Korea. Today they are also called Amur tigers, named after where they live. Siberian tigers live in very cold areas where the forest ground is often covered in snow. Rare white Siberian tiger. Their large paws act like snowshoes, which keeps the Siberian tiger from sinking into the snow. The pads on the Siberian tiger's feet allows it to walk silently. The Siberian tiger's body is covered in thick, long fur that keeps it warm. During the winter, its fur grows thicker and longer to help keep it warmer. They have powerful jaws and like other cats like to sneak up and pounce on their prey. Another lion. Lions like all cats do not chew their food but swallow it in chunks. They also use only one side of their mouth at a time. This trait is also common to all cats and is caused by the inability of the jaw to move side to side. The tongue is covered with rough spines called papillae. This helps the lion scrape meat off a bone and acts like a comb for grooming. Another male lion. The lion's teeth are well adapted for killing their prey and eating it. The great canine teeth are spaced such that they can slip between the cervical vertebrae of their favourite sized prey and sever the spinal cord. The 
puma or mountain lion. Pumas are most active at dawn and dusk. These agile yet powerful cats hunt by stalking and then ambushing their prey. Pumas mainly feed on ungulates, which means hoofed animals. Pumas can swim and climb trees if they need to. A remarkable animal. Here's the babies for the mother tiger. So cute. And here they are, reunited with their mother. Tiger cub, what beautiful blue eyes. Tiger cubs are born blind and are completely dependent on their mother. The tiger cub's eyes will open sometime between 6 to 12 days. However, they do not get their full vision for a couple of weeks. I'm looking for my little lion cubs. Lion cubs. A lioness gives birth to two to three cubs at a time. If a couple of lionesses give birth around the same time, they help raise each other's cubs. The jaguar. Most jaguars are tan or orange in colour with the distinctive black spots. Young jaguars learn to hunt from their mothers. I'm looking for my little cheetah cubs. They're pretty easy to pick up because the little black lines going from the eyes to the mouth. No, they would be leopard cubs. Let's have a look at them. Leopard cubs weigh only 1 pound or 500 grams at birth and open their eyes around 10 days later. They rely on their mother, who is called a leopardess, for everything. Leopardesses give birth to two to six cubs at a time. white lion. Most of their population is found in zoos where they are bred, although they used to be found in the wild. Jaguar. Jaguars are the largest of South America's big cats and the third largest big cat in the world. They enjoy the water and are quite good swimmers and catch fish, turtles or caimans which are small alligator-like creatures by stalking them and then leaping into the water. 
That sounds so much fun. The white tiger cub Zoos play a very large role in keeping this species going. The cheetah cubs. The jaguar cubs. So sweet. Black Jaguar or Black Panther. Panther actually refers to three different types of black big cats and include leopards, jaguars and cougars. In Latin America they are known as Black Jaguar, in Asia and Africa as Black Leopard and as Black Cougar in North America. leopard it's a subspecies of the leopard they live in forests in the colder regions of the Russian Far East and northeastern China they have slightly longer legs than other leopards this may be to help them to walk in the snow their long thick coats are marked with widely spaced rosettes that have thick rings with dark centers in the winter their fur grows to over seven centimeters to protect them from the cold they like to eat deer, hares and other small and medium sized mammals. And these are some little leopard cubs. So cute! The Jaguar. They are quite clever and can climb trees to ambush larger prey like deers by leaping out of the tree and killing the prey with one powerful bite. Jaguars live in dense rainforests and forests. The leopard. Leopards hunt prey at night. A leopard protects its food from other animals by dragging it high up into the trees to eat later when they're hungry. Leopards can also have black fur with dark spots as well as the more common golden spotted fur like this one. Their coat helps camouflage them up in the trees until they spring forward with a deadly pounce on their prey. Another leopard. A leopard's body is designed for hunting. They are fast, sleek and powerful. Excellent swimmers, climbers and can leap and jump long distances. They are also good at stalking in the long grass. The spotted panther or spotted leopard. This is made by Papo and they sell it as a spotted panther. Panthers in general can swim and climb trees and are able to leap down from a tree to catch their prey. Here's my collection of big cats and wild cats. Remember to stay for the fun ending.
Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you'd like to visit. Thanks once again.